हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप वन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री राइट सो हियर दिस प्रॉब्लम इट कंटेन्स बोथ द प्लेन एंड अ लाइन राइट सो द प्रॉब्लम इज फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन विच पासिस थ्रू द पॉइंट थ्री कॉमा टू कॉमा जीरो एंड इट कंटेन्स द लाइन x minus 3 over 1 is equal to y minus 6 over 5 is equal to z minus 4 over 4, right? So here uh, we have to find the equation of the plane uh, which passes through this point, right? And it contains this line. So suppose if we take uh, the plane like this and here uh, we have the plane and this plane uh, may be denoted by the letter pi, right? Okay, and uh, here uh, we have uh, the point uh, through which this plane uh, passes, right? So let us take this point as A and here we have the point 3, 2, 0, right? And moreover, here we are given that this uh, plane it contains this line L, right? And let us take the line uh, L here and uh, this is the line L, right? And this plane contains this line. Now, uh, we have to find the equation of this plane and uh, uh, we know that uh, the standard uh, form of the equation of a line is given by x minus x1 over a, y minus y1 over b, and z minus z1 over c, right? So this is the standard form of the equation of a uh, straight line, right? Now, if we compare uh, these two uh, equations, then we see that uh, x1 is uh, 3, uh, y1 is 6, and uh, z1 is uh, 4 right so it implies that uh, this line l it passes through 3 comma 6 comma 4 right and let us take this point uh, somewhere here and this is point uh, this point is denoted by the letter b and here we have 3 comma 6 comma 4 right so this is the first conclusion which we draw from uh, this equation uh, of the line right and the second thing is that uh, again if we compare both these uh, equations uh, we see that the direction ratios the direction ratios of this line l uh, are given by a b c and here we have 1 5 and 4 right okay now uh, we know that the uh, normal uh, to the plane uh, this uh, plane pi uh, may be it may be drawn like this and uh, this is the normal right okay now let us consider the uh, direction ratios of the normal as uh, uh, capital a b and c right and we see that uh, this normal vector which is the normal of this plane pi is uh, perpendicular uh, to this line given line right so the normal is uh, perpendicular to the line l right and we know that if two vectors are uh, perpendicular then uh, we have uh, the condition a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 where a1 b1 c1 are the direction ratios of the first vector and a2 b2 c2 are the direction ratios of the second vector so here uh, we will take uh, the first vector as the uh, normal and the second uh, vector uh, is the line right okay now uh, let us consider the equation of the plane right now we know that the general form of the equation of a plane is uh, uh, given by 
ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी जेड प्लस डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट वेर ए बी एंड सी आर द डायरेक्शन रेशियोज ऑफ दिस नॉर्मल वैक्टर राइट ओके नाउ दिस प्लेन इट पासिस थ्रू दिस पॉइंट थ्री कॉमा टू कॉमा जीरो राइट सो द प्लेन पासिस थ्रू पासिस थ्रू द पॉइंट थ्री कॉमा टू कॉमा जीरो right so it should satisfy this equation so now we have 3a uh, taking x equal to 3 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 0 we have uh, 2b plus uh, here z is 0 so we have 0 plus d is equal to 0 so we have 3a plus 2b plus d is equal to 0 right so this is the first condition now Uh, this plane pi it contains the line l and this point 3 comma 6 comma 4 lies on the line right so when this point b lies on this line l it obviously uh, shows that this point b also lies on the plane right so therefore uh, this plane uh, also uh, passes through uh, the point uh, 3 comma 6 comma 4 right so now uh, this point also satisfy uh, this equation of plane right so now we have x equal to 3 y is equal to 6 and z is equal to uh, 4 right so we have 3a plus 6b uh, plus 4c uh, plus d is equal to 0 now this is equation number 2 right now if we uh, subtract uh, uh, both these equations that is subtracting 2 from 1 uh, we have 3a and 3a get cancelled and uh, 2b minus 6b is minus 4b and uh, here we have minus 4c and d and d also get cancelled so we have the equation Uh, minus 4b minus 4c is equal to 0 so what we have done here we are subtracting equation 2 from 1 to get rid of this constant d right so now we can simplify it so we have minus 4b is equal to 4c so we have uh, minus b is equal to c right let us take this equation as equation number 3 right okay now Uh, let us apply this condition uh, of uh, uh, perpendicular uh, to the plane uh, to the normal and this line l right so the drs are of the normal are a b and c and the drs of the line are uh, 1 uh, 5 and 4 so applying this condition we have uh, uh, a times 1 plus b times 5 plus c times 4 is equal to 0 right so now we have a plus 5b uh, plus uh, 4c is equal to 0 now let us call this uh, this equation as equation number 4 now uh, we have to uh, solve uh, the equation number 3 and 4 right okay so now if we take c is equal to minus b over here then we have a plus 5b uh, minus 4b is equal to 0 because c is equal to minus b and now we have uh, a plus b is equal to 0 and uh, from here we have a is equal to minus b right okay so now we have uh, equation number 3 and 5 and from 3 uh, and 5 uh, we see that uh, we can uh, combine both these equations uh, to get a is equal to minus b is equal to uh, c right so now finally we have the relation between a b and c as this equation right okay 
so now viewers uh, we have this equation that is a is equal to minus b is equal to c right and now let us take uh, uh, these three terms equal to some scalar lambda right where uh, lambda is uh, not equal to uh, zero right so a is equal to uh, lambda and minus b is equal to lambda so this implies b is equal to minus lambda and c is equal to lambda right so now we have expressed a b and c which are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane in terms of lambda where lambda is some scalar and lambda is not equal to here zero right so now we can write the equation of the plane uh, which is required here right so now we know that uh, the equation of a plane uh, which passes through which passes through uh, some point uh, which passes through some point x1 y1 z1 is given by uh, a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1 is equal to 0 right so this is the equation of a plane which passes through a point x1 y1 and z1 where a b c are the direction ratios of the normal so here we have a is equal to lambda and we have x minus x1 now x1 is the point through which uh, this plane is passing so here we have x1 is equal to uh, 3 and b is uh, minus lambda and here we have y minus y1 so y1 is 2 and uh, c is uh, lambda and z minus z1 so z1 is 0 right now uh, dividing throughout by lambda as we have said earlier that lambda is not equal to 0 so now uh, here uh, lambda uh, uh, is disappeared so we have x minus 3 minus uh, y minus 2 plus z equal to 0 right so here what we have done we are dividing uh, this equation by lambda so we have x minus 3 minus y plus 2 plus z equal to 0 and we have x minus y plus z and uh, 2 minus 3 is minus 1 right so we have x minus y plus z is equal to 1 so this is the uh, equation of this uh, given plane right now viewers here there is also one interesting point that is uh, we have taken x1 y1 z1 as 3 comma 2 comma 0 right so now here see uh, this is the line l and this line l contains this point 3 comma 6 comma 4 so we can also take uh, x1 y1 z1 as 3 comma 6 comma 4 and if we take 3 comma 6 comma 4 then uh, we'll arrive at the same result let us see so now here taking x1 y1 uh, z1 as uh, 3 comma 6 comma 4 instead of this point so now we have a is equal to lambda and we have x minus 3 then we have uh, minus lambda for b we have y minus 6 and here we have uh, uh, lambda for c and we have z minus 4 that is equal to 0 now again uh, the same explanation dividing throughout by lambda we have now x minus 3 here we have y minus 6 here we have uh, z minus 4 right now we have x minus 3 here we have minus y plus 6 then we have z minus 4 equal to 0 and now we have x y and z so this is x minus y plus z and 6 minus 4 is 2 and 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and we have x minus y plus z is equal to 1 
right so uh, we have got the same equation of the plane right so viewers uh, this is how we solve this problem